You're tuned in to Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. This is day 20 of 100 symptoms. Persecutory delusions. They're all against me. These delusions have two central elements. One, the thought that harm is occurring or will occur. And two, the thought that some persecutor has the intention to cause harm. Delusions of persecution are identified as the most common kind of delusion in schizophrenia. They have been an aspect of my delusional experience. Off and on, my brain has presented me with the suspicion that government agents or corporate spies are directly interested in observing me. I ponder that my political views and my connections to friends and peers are considered worthy of observation. In general, mine are the thought that harm will happen in the future. If I am too revealing on YouTube or Instagram, or even in private digital correspondence. For several individuals, they apprehend the harms as immediate. Headaches or other bodily symptoms are being injected somehow into their experience. Perhaps this occurs by electromagnetic ray or poison. Persecutory delusions are also common for those with schizoaffective disorder and to a degree those with and to a degree those having bipolar and during mania or an acute episode. These delusions can also occur in severe depressive episodes when psychotic features are present. Delusions of persecution are so common that I have found even the stereotypical depictions in media or social media are aware of them. The most commonly represented experience of a schizophrenic is that they are hearing terrible voices and terribly fear they are in a paranoid trap. There is even a common phrase people use to depict the feeling. They are all against me. Thanks for watching. Ask any questions in the comments below if you seek clarification. Open for discussion. Please subscribe and share. This has been Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. Day 20 of 100 Symptoms.